Insane. Anyway, something badass I own that I am unworthy of. Dear Billy, uterine lining. (laughs) I don't even know what that means, but that is amazing. I'm sure it's insulting, and I accept it if it's going to be that funny. Uh, Billy, uterine lining. I'm I'm missing the the, the thing. If if Billy uterine, it sounds like something. I never took a fucking health class, so I don't know anything about the vagina other than it fucking dominates my life. Um, I have a badass, authentic, expensive cowboy hat that I don't deserve. I'm from Philly and Boston, but I'm an Irish Catholic alcoholic cunt. Ah, dude, I got a big place in my heart for you. I relate. Who is a black hole of irritability? I bought the hat for a Halloween costume and couldn't go cheap because, you know, life is a competition and everyone is out to get me. Um, I even drove 90 minutes to an authentic Western supply store. The last time I went to Texas, everyone was so impossibly nice and well-mannered. My heart warmed until I grew depressed at how much liquid cunt runs through my veins. In Texas, a teenager once went well out of his way to hold the door for me and I froze. I was so confused. I assumed he... He wanted me to cast him in something, follow him on Instagram, or blow him. Oh, you in the business here? Cast him? Blowing people? I mean, that's how you make it in Hollywood. Um, It'll be all in the book someday. Um, He didn't want any of that. Just wanted to be thoughtful of a stranger like a fucking psychopath. Uh, Someday I'm going to go to a ranch for a month, ride horses, and fuck some goats, or maybe my cousins, or maybe the goat's cousin, in order to earn this boss cowboy hat. Yeah, dude, you got the fucking Irish anger big time. The fact you couldn't just say, I'm going to go to a ranch because it spoke to me and brought peace to my heart. You got to bring like bestiality into it just so you could, you know, so nobody goes, oh, do you like to ride a horsey? You fucking queer. All that homophobic shit. Um, Listen, just because you were born and lived in Boston and Philly doesn't mean there's, you know, all of us connect to nature. There's nothing wrong. You know, I I go out there in the middle of fucking nowhere and, you know, there's there's something great about it. It's the same thing like smoking a cigar by yourself or having a cup of coffee, you know, without a loud group of people chatting. Um, I had a nice cup of coffee by myself this morning, you know, and um, there's a couple of lesbians next to me, but they were hot. So it didn't bother me. You know what I'm saying, kid? Sorry, I'm going back to Boston. Um, Actually, we're really good looking. I'm not going to lie to you. And one of them was going like, you know, James Dean. And the other one was the hottie. And I was just looking at him, you know, in Hollywood mode going like, if that was like a buddy comedy and they stole a car, like I'm in, I'm watching that movie. 